guys I am back with another Dollar Tree haul I know it's been a little bit since I did a haul but I wasn't feeling well the last couple of days so I was just kind of staying at home resting up and getting myself a little bit better so I was able to get out to a couple of different stores and I was super excited to find some items that have been on my wish list for a while and that I had just found in our stores here in Canada so I'm just going to jump right in I'm going to start with some of the household items first. I did pick up two more of these uh, orange wicker looking baskets. I'm using them for storage in my fridge and in my pantry for the kids snacks for school and I needed two more so I could get that all organized for them. Then I also picked up a new dish soap. So this is lime, basil and mandarin. And it's got a really nice fresh light scent which I wanted to try out and see how well it does on the dishes. Then I also picked up uh, one of the Armorals uh, air fresheners. These I use in my garbage cans and I also use them in the car. I love any of the scents that the uh, Armorall puts out. This one is the lemon berry and it smells really, really refreshing, so that's gonna go in my car. Then I also picked up uh, these Vim Power and Shine multi-purpose wipes. So you get 30 antibacterial wipes in here. So these are great for cleaning your bathroom, your kitchen, and it's nice because you don't have to rinse the surface afterwards. It's safe um, so you can prepare food once it's dry. Then I also picked up this little tin, so it's not very big, but it is cylindrical and it does have a little label space here, so with permanent marker you could write on here. I'm actually using this for tea bags for my mom for when she comes over to visit. I keep my tea bags up on a high shelf and she can never reach them, so she's always asking me to pull some down for her, so I thought this would be nice, put them in here. And then I can just keep it on the counter for her so it's nice and easy for her to reach. Then I also picked up some nail polish remover. So this is just the regular standard nail polish remover. Nothing really exciting there. And I also picked up the Mr. Shaver Shave Gel. And a couple of toothbrushes. So Dollar Tree in Canada normally carries the Brush Buddies brand. So I did pick up this two pack of Shopkins toothbrushes for my youngest daughter. They're nice because they have the smaller heads on them. And they've got the cute Shopkins characters on there. But then they are actually carried uh, Oral-B toothbrushes this time. So that's a name brand item. They typically don't carry the Oral-B toothbrushes. So when I saw these, I picked up uh, one for each of my kiddos to put in their stockings. I know it's not a super exciting stocking stuffer, but I typically do this every year. It's pink, the orange, and the blue. And then I also picked up a package of tissues. These are the Smart Care ones, and they're in the Hatchimals pattern this time. So these are just super cute. I send them with my kids to school. My daughter absolutely loves Hatchimals, so I thought that was a nice one for her. And then I did pick up a package of the Surefresh Zipper Seal packages. Um, these are the snack ones, and you get 38 of them in there. These are great for snacks for the kids for school, uh, especially for like goldfish crackers or grapes or baby carrots. They're the perfect size for that. Then I also picked up a couple packages of stickers. So these ones are almost like a dome sticker. So they're raised. So I'll show them from the side first. You can kind of see their little, almost like a little hill or a dome. And this is the first pattern. So it's all unicorns and rainbows and happy little colorful pictures. Then I got this one. 
which has circus animals on it. And then I got this one, which is fish and crabs. I just thought they were different than your standard stickers. My kids love using stickers all the time. And you get 24 of the stickers in each package. So that's a pretty good deal. Then the other household items I got were two of the four by six picture frames. So these just look like a, a faux wood in the brown. So these are going to be a part of the gallery wall that I mentioned that I'm doing in my previous haul videos. So um, these are going to work nicely for that. Then I also picked up another one of their fashion scarves. And this one is in the little kitties with glasses. I just thought that was super cute. I know other ladies have hauled this pattern in tote bags and cosmetic bags and I think lanyards, but I haven't seen anyone do the scarf before, so I was super excited to find that one. Then I also picked up a pair of the Snugadoo 2 Super Soft Socks. And I did realize that they are um, meant for an adult based off the size of the sock or like a teenage child, but they definitely wouldn't work for my kids. They're all younger. So I did pick up this one pair for me. I just thought the alpaca on there was super duper cute. And my toes get really, really cold in the winter time. So I thought this would be nice for them. Then I think all the rest of my stuff is for the holidays. So I'm going to start with Thanksgiving or fall. So I did pick up this one box that says autumn. And it's just nice and decorated along the sides. So you can display it like that or you can use it to actually put something in. Inside there's a nice pumpkin there. And then on this side it says harvest. So I thought, just thought that was really, really detailed, especially for the Dollar Tree. And I thought this would look nice up on my display with the rest of my um, holiday festive decorations. And then I also picked up the Spiced Pumpkin Candle by Old Williamsburg. So again, I've mentioned before that I love these candles and the fact that they come in a little licensed mason jar. I think that's just so cute. And then I picked up one of the little cheerful scarecrows to go in my front yard. I just thought he was really nice with his bright orange shirt and bow tie, so I put him out there in my front garden. Then moving on to Halloween, I did pick up a couple items, ones that I have been searching for for a while. So I know you guys have probably seen these hauled before. They are the flower sack towels but I was super excited to finally find them at my store. So I did get the hang in there with the bats and the one with the ghost that says more booze please, which I thought was really cute. So as I've mentioned before, the flower sack towels aren't great for absorbing any type of moisture. They don't, um, you know, they're not good for drying your hands and they're not good for drying dishes either. They're more so just like a decorative piece. That's what I'm gonna be using them for. Then I also managed to find the little wood or faux wood um, box signs that everyone was hauling. So I got the one that says Happy Halloween and that has the dots along the top and I just thought it was so cute with the little pumpkins there. And then the other one that says Trick or Treat and has the skull and it's got like a crosshatch pattern there. I just thought these were really, really nice and they could go up on top of my uh, TV cabinet when I take the fall stuff down, I can replace it with the Halloween. So to go with that display as well, I also picked up two of these little skull heads and I just thought they were really, really well done. Picked them up in the white and then this dark metallic looking one and then I also found 
the Halloween themed pumpkins. I am still looking for the black one with the white stripes. All the ones that I found at My Dollar Trees were broken on the top. They had pieces of the paint that were chipped off, so I'll have to keep my eye out and see if they get any more in that aren't damaged. Then one of My Dollar Trees also had the little glass bottles. I say they almost look like poison bottles with the skull on it, and this one's in that nice amber orange color. And then this one here is in like a black onyx. Then I also found the jack-o'-lantern little tea light holder. So you just place your little tea light back there and he glows through his face. And the little ghost to go along with it. And of course, I picked up a package of the black um, LED tea light candles. Because with my young kids, I don't like using real candles in any of the decorative pieces that I put up there because they can reach that stuff. So I thought the LED ones would be nice. And the fact that they're black for Halloween, they're going to look really nice and pop against the orange and the white of the ghost. Then I also did pick up two of the little faux... Uh, books or the little boxes. So I got the one that says poisons and the one that says Halloween tricks and treats. So these are also going to be a part of that display that I do on my TV cabinet. And then I also got two of the big plastic skulls. And these are actually going to go in my front garden. They're a nice size, so I thought that they would pop out in my garden. I also have a whole bunch of um, homemade tombstones out of wood that we made a long time ago, so those will sit nicely with them. And then I also picked up one of the chair covers in the jack-o'-lantern with its big smiley face. I have one larger chair at my a kitchen table that's at the end and I thought that this would be nice and a way to bring a little bit of Halloween into the kitchen dining area as well. Then for trick or treating I did pick up a couple items for my kiddos. I got my eldest son a pair of these glow-in-the-dark skeleton gloves. Currently he says he wants to be a skeleton that might change, but I thought even still he might like to wear these to keep his hands warm if it's a cooler night or just even for fall in general. He's a um, almost eight year old boy, so he's gonna get a kick out of them. The fact that they glow in the dark is just like an added bonus. Then I also picked up uh, two of the two packs of the glow in the dark glow bracelets for Halloween. I thought this would be nice for the kids to wear just so that they stand out and you can identify them as yours when you have all these kids running around in their costumes and they're getting excited with the candy it's hard to keep track sometimes so I thought that these would make them stand out a little bit. So I did get the ghost and the pumpkins. There were other characters as well in different colors but I thought that the orange and the white are going to be the brightest of the colors so that's why I chose those ones. And these were technically in the Halloween section, but I did get them for my daughter's um, birthday gift. Um, if you've been following my previous hauls, you might have noticed that I'm doing a unicorn theme for her. She really loves unicorns, so I'm trying to get almost every gift for her is going to be unicorn themed. Um, so I managed to find the unicorn horn, which I thought was really, really cute. And then I also did get her the pink unicorn crown. A lot of ladies in the States were hauling this a while back, but our stores didn't get them in or just didn't put them on the floor until they put out their Halloween stuff. I guess this is considered um, part of a costume or just the fact that it's a little bit fancier for their glow wear. I'm not really sure why it wasn't put out earlier, but I was happy that we finally got it in our stores. Then I also got my three kiddos parts of their Halloween costumes as well. So if you're watching my Dollarama haul um, that I posted a little while ago, 
you would have probably noticed that my one son, my youngest son, is doing a, well, is going to be a knight for Halloween. So I managed to pick him up a shield and an arm guard and a sword from Dollarama for $3 for the set. So when I saw these at Dollar Tree, I was super excited. So I did find him a chest plate and it's just got the little strap that goes around your neck and holds it on. And I also found a helmet. So his costume is pretty much complete. I'm just gonna either get him black or gray sweats and that'll be set for him. So pretty good deal. I mean, his costume is probably going to be um, under $7, definitely under 10. So I'm really excited for that. I find with four kids, Halloween can get really, really expensive, especially for it only being one day. So I try to cut costs and save where I can. My other daughter wanted to be a mermaid. She saw this tail fin there and got super excited. So I picked this up for her. And then I also picked up the mermaid skirt, which goes over top of the tail like that. And I'm just gonna pair that with probably a pink shirt and pink leggings to go underneath it. Her favorite color is pink. <laughs> And then I did get her the pink mermaid hair extensions as well. So it's just a hair band that you put in their hair and lay this out over top of their actual hair. But I still thought she would get a kick out of having pink hair for a day. And then my younger daughter was with me and she decided that she wanted to be a ladybug. So we did pick her up the little ladybug headband. It comes with the antennae, and I'm not sure why it has ears. I guess ladybugs might have ears, and we just don't know, can't see them, but I thought it was so cute with the black and the red. And then got her the skirt. And of course, the ladybug wings, which she's so super excited about. She wants to wear them already. So for hers, I'm just going to pick her up probably a red shirt and then black tights and then she's going to be set as well. So for each of my three kiddos that I've got their costumes for, they're definitely going to be under $10. So $30 for three of them to go out for Halloween I think is a pretty good deal. Then moving on to Christmas, I did pick up a couple items that I was super excited to find. Um, if you've been watching my previous hauls, you probably saw that I've been picking up stocking stuffers like crazy. I don't like shopping in November and December. I try to avoid the stores as much as possible. And I also find that if you wait that long, you maybe run out of ideas or something that you saw that you wanted to get isn't there anymore. So I try to pick things up as I see them. I know that a lot of the dollar haulers in the States have been picking these up for a while now, but this was the first time that I had seen them in our stores. So this is the Fingerlings Minis blind bags. So I did get two of the purple packaging. And then I did get two of the blue packaging. Now they both do say series two on them. So I'm not sure if the color makes a difference at all, but I thought it might as well. Makes the packaging a little different, spruces it up a little, changes it up. So I grabbed two of each of those. Then I also picked up another pair of the Paw Patrol uh, thermal socks. I hauled these a while back and I was absolutely in love with them. They're licensed, they're Nickelodeon, they're the ones with the nice warm fuzzies in the middle and the grips on the bottom. I hauled a pair for my younger son and then these ones are actually going to go to his cousin who also loves Paw Patrol. Then I did pick up the Seasoned Greetings stencils. If you saw my previous Dollar Tree haul, you might have noticed me pick up the wood Christmas tree. I did a DIY for um, Thanksgiving in the fall with the pumpkin cutout and I painted it orange and used one of the uh, metal words that they were selling in the three pack to decorate it with the word welcome on it. Um, if you didn't see that video, feel free to check it out. I go over a little bit of what I used and what I did to make it. 
Uh, this I'm going to use at the Christmas tree and instead of using the metal words because I wasn't a fan of the ones that they put out for Christmas, I'm going to use the season's greeting stencils and stencil that over top of the tree. So stay tuned for that DIY. I'm excited to get that going. Probably won't do it until um, the end of October, beginning of November when you start getting into that Christmas uh, holiday season. So I also did pick up some wrapping paper. I normally get my wrapping paper from the dollar store and I don't recall these patterns being there last season. They might have been and maybe I just um, missed out on them, but I thought I would pick them up now just in case when I go back later on they don't have the same patterns. So these are all uh, the Hallmark Expressions. And how much you get varies on the pattern that you choose, but I think the smallest is 20 square feet and it goes up to, I believe, 40 square feet is the biggest one I got. So the first ones are all Disney licensed ones. So this is Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore is on there as well. Then I got the... Mickey Mouse and he's got candies on there as well and there's Minnie there too. Then I got the DC Supergirls, so there's Supergirl there and Wonder Woman and I just liked how they were the little kid designs. And then I also picked up this Trolls one. And then the other four that I got aren't Disney or any licensed ones, but they are expressions by Hallmark again. And this one is so cute. It's got a little llama on there. And then mittens. Or you actually, he might be an alpaca, and that might be the mittens you would make from his fur. Then I got this bright green one that has all these Christmas donuts on it, which I just thought was so cute. Then I kind of got this old fashioned looking bear, polar bears and penguins but I just liked how it kind of has that like old postcard kind of look to it. They're not like modern and cartoony. And then the last but not least, I did pick up the teal paper with the red truck with the Christmas trees in the back of it. I just thought that was too cute to pass up. Everyone's been hauling the red truck for the fall, so I was excited to find something for it for the Christmas season. Along with the red truck paper, I did also pick up the red truck ribbon. I thought that would be cute for a gift to wrap it up in the paper and then use the ribbon to put a bow on it. And then I also picked up the red and black checkered ribbon with the snowflakes on it. I just thought that was super cute. And then I actually do have a couple more birthday items. So I did find an emoji birthday card to go for my son. He's having an emoji themed birthday. And this one is just blank on the inside so I can write him whatever message I want. But I thought it was nice to go along with the theme for his birthday. And then for my younger sons, he's having like a construction vehicle themed birthday. So these aren't construction vehicles, but I did like the fact that they were monster trucks. He loves any type of uh, Hot Wheel or monster truck figure. So I thought this would work as well for it. And then for my daughter, who once again is doing the unicorn theme, I picked up one of the larger bags. I did get her quite a few unicorn items and the gift bags really don't hold too much when you open them up. So I did want to get her one bigger one just so I made sure I had enough to hold all her things. And then I got two more unicorn decorations for her party. 
So this are, these are the swirl decorations and you get three different pieces in there. So that's what it looks like up close. And then there's the three different ones that you get. So you get the head, the whole unicorn, and then the little circle that says happy birthday. And then I picked up one of the tissue center pieces as well. And that's what it looks like. I just thought that was a nice and easy way to add some more decorations to her table for her birthday. And then these I was super excited to find because I had not seen these tote bags there before. Um, I don't know if they're just new to the Canadian stores um, or if the ones in the States are going to be getting them as well. But the only person that I saw uh, have seen haul these so far has been Sandra from Sandra's Hauls and she's also a Canadian hauler so I just wanted to quickly show these if you follow her you've probably seen these but I just thought they were so cute so this one says simply amazing and it's got the nice royal blue handles this one says catch the stars and it's got a little kitty with a net riding a unicorn on it. And it's got the hot pink handles. This one that says good vibes only. And like a tie dye type look to it. And it's got the navy blue handles. And then this dark purple that says you're such a gem. And it just has black handles. I was really excited to find those. Um, I will probably be using them for my daughters for their stockings. We don't do traditional stockings because we don't have a fireplace so we don't hang them anywhere like that. So I typically either do gift bags or tote bags for their stockings and we change them up every year just to keep them exciting and new. And then I did get one more tote bag for Halloween. Um, if you saw my previous hauls you probably saw that I was picking out the like plastic circular buckets for my kids to go trick-or-treating with but I thought that my um, eldest son might be a little bit too old for the little bucket so I did pick him up a tote bag for collecting his candy in and this one says too cool for ghouls and I just thought that was so cute and it's got the same ghost on there as on the towel that said more booze please he just looks so funky with his glasses on and it's like a silver metallic text that's on there. I just thought that was really cool. All right, so sorry guys for the haul being so long, but like I said, I managed to find so many items that had been on my wish list and also a couple holiday things that I wasn't expecting to pick up this early, but I was super excited to find. So I do hope you enjoyed watching my haul. And if you haven't already, I do hope you subscribe and like this video if you did. Um, if you have any comments for me, both negative and positive, I welcome any type of feedback. I'm wanting to grow and improve for you guys. I want you to enjoy sitting with me and watching my hauls. And hopefully I've inspired you to go out and find what your local Dollar Tree has to offer. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful time.